Pete Hereford, manager Peter Beadle, back to back home at victory. How pleasing was that? Yeah, it was good. Uh, first half, I thought we were excellent again. Uh, carried on from Saturday, really, where we left off. It was really bright, moved the ball really well. Um, took a little while to get sort of get the first goal, but um, you know, again, Ty set us up with that with a header uh, from a corner. But then after that, we we were in control, and when, when teams come and put five across the back line, and it was a flat five. It was always going to be difficult to break down, but once we got the second and the third one, then the, the game was done really, and it was really hard to raise them second half to. So we sort of come out and you know do the same things again and try and be bright, but it's always difficult. And but we kept the ball really well. We moved the ball really well. I thought at times, and uh, like I said, on another day, we, you know maybe another couple of goals more. But you know nine goals in two games, no two clean sheets. We're more than delighted. Do you feel, do you feel the players mentally have got an eye on the, the cup ties in the second half? Having already won the game effectively? No, not not in the second half. If they'd have had their eyes on that, that would have been from the very start. So I don't think they're even thinking about that. We, it hasn't even been spoken about. To be fair, we've, we've tried to focus one game as we go, um, and we've got we've got the two games. But obviously, we've, we've made it imperatively, you know, I made it really clear that, that the next two games are really vital, Saturday and today, and and really big performances, and we got them. And uh, like I said, nine goals and two clean sheets. We're we're very happy. Um, Tyrone Duffer seemed to go off with was it, looks like a hamstring strain. Or? Yeah, little little niggle. Again, we'll see how he is on Thursday. Um, but again, obviously, you know, coming out of 23's football, he's had two games in in a week, in four days, um, and he's played ever so well in both of them as well. So, so hopefully, nothing too serious. Um, but but we'll we'll see. He managed to give game time to likes of Adam Page late on the game, so that must give them some impetus coming into the next few games. Yeah, it's important that we use all of them as, as much as we can. It's difficult at times, but obviously, you know, the last last two games, him and Jamie have had a bit of game time. Um, obviously, we've got Jimmy back in today. Um, so Mike's obviously, you know, just ticking over nicely, come on and scored a really good goal second half. Um, so we're just, it's just trying to balance off with them and making sure that we're that everyone's up to speed but but they're they're all doing fine and like I said apart from one or two little niggly things then hopefully we'll have we'll have a full bit of health very soon. What will impetus does this couple of wins give you in into the these cup ties coming up? Um well it, the, the, these two games shouldn't shouldn't give us a huge amount of impetus because the impetus has always been about the momentum and we and we haven't lost now for a few weeks. We've we got beat obviously after Eastleigh against Farnborough. Uh, but since then, we've we've been getting better and better, stronger and stronger. We've added to the group, and we look stronger again. Um, so, so the impetus has been started back from from way back. So, this is about just continuing it. We we had a little slip at, at Farnborough, and uh, and it was important to get back on back on track quickly, which we did against Kings Langley, and then and then we've just continued it from there. And any news on on uh, Elliot Richardson signing? No, obviously it's all it's all done now. That as in it's all the transfers complete, so that's good. He's done. We're just waiting for clearance, and that seems to be a continual issue with us with the clearance. And you know, I don't know what it is, but we've um, Martin's rang. They've got three different numbers for the FA for that particular department, and no one ever answers the phone. He goes straight to voicemail. So, so I don't know what they're doing, but they're they're taking their time about it. And obviously the transfers windows is closed everywhere else. So you know, we don't seem to know what the delay is all the time. But but we'll we'll keep working at it. And obviously, unfortunately, Elliot won't be able to play Saturday anyway. But hopefully, at some point in the next couple of days, his clearance will come through and and he can get involved as well then. And what, what is the priority for Oxford City at the weekend? Are you going to go there and try and get the game out of the way in, in the first time? When have we ever got to try and draw? We don't want to try and draw. That's what I'm but trying to say in so many games. But we, but we, never, we never go and try and contain. So we, we always go with a game plan of trying to win the game. And that sometimes might be we sit back and defend for a little while, then we try and hit him on the break. Or it might be we start on the front foot. But we never go other than with a positive frame of mind and to go and try and win that game. And we'll do the same on Saturday. And it's going to be tough because they're since their cup game at Colchester, they've hit a real nice little purple patch of form, which it's going to do. It's going to lift their confidence and keep them going. Um, but we're also on a good run of games. And, uh, and so, like I said, so it's, in, it's, it's a game that we're going to go there and we're going to give our best, as always, and we're going to try and, going to try and win the game if we can on the day. Thanks for your time. No worries.